Alright, it's BLM here, and it's time for a game collection update. Um, I believe this is number 20, and the background music is Dragon Ball, if you can see that, but, um, yeah. Um, yeah, first thing I want to say before I do the collection update is thank you. Um, because, um, I believe it was yesterday, I reached 50 subscribers, which I'm so happy about, because that was actually my goal when starting um, my channel, is to reach 50 subscribers. I mean, I know it's not, like, a like, a huge goal, like, a thousand subscribers or anything like that, but, I mean, I didn't even think I'll get one, because, well, basically, my videos are pretty crap, I mean, they're pretty terrible, um, but, whatever, um, I enjoy doing them, that's why I post them, um, I don't really do them for subscribers, but, like, subscribers is, like, sort of, like, a bonus, um, but, yeah, um, and also, another thing is, I'm gonna try to stop cursing my videos, like, a whole bunch of people have been posting comments that I curse too much, um, I'm actually trying to, like, stop doing that. I, I'm just so used to, like, cursing in my everyday life, I'm actually trying to slow down on it now, but, um, yeah, um, this game, and, yeah, let's get into the game collection update, um, not that much, really, um, not nearly as big as last month's, I mean, the month's only halfway over, so this is gonna be part one, there might be part two, maybe, I don't know. Um, but, only, what, six games, and a few other stuff, um, some decent deals, so, yeah, um, let's get started with the first thing I got, which, I believe this is on May 1st, actually, um, playing trade, I, like, I didn't know they had strategy guides, I mean, I just, like, found them in the corner because no one buys them, then there were some for, like, really cheap, so I just bought them. Um, these are buy two, get one free, because I had the discount. Actually, one of them was new, and oh, I'll get to that first. But the first strategy I, I got was the strategy guide for Tony Hawk's Project 8. I own the game for the PS2. I want to get the 360 version, but, um, yeah, I got this guide for it. It was only, if you could see that, a dollar. Um, I'm leaving the stickers on this because I'm scared to take them off. Um, I'm scared it's going to rip the art. But, um, yeah, it, it's in great condition. It's, yeah, um, it was only a dollar, I mean, after, after a discount, was like, I believe I spent, um, yeah, three dollars, so, I spent like 90 cents each, which, I mean, because I had 10% off, so it's not a bad deal. Next one, this actually didn't have a price on it, and, like, the guy said that, he'll, um, it normally sells for five dollars, but since they didn't have a sticker on it, he'll sell me, he, um, he would sell it to me for a dollar, so, I said, alright, and that's the Mortal Kombat Gold strategy guide um don't have the game i've actually never played it but i mean it was only a dollar and it usually sells for five and this is also complete damn this is also complete sometimes these fighting one fighting strategy guides are pretty cool to look at i mean look, looking at the um combos and stuff like that so yeah I picked it up for a dollar i do plan on picking up the game sometime but, and the last one this one was brand new it was sealed um it was priced at two dollars and, um, the guy wasn't supposed to, uh, let me do the buy two, get one, but he just decided to let me do it anyway. And that is the strategy guide for John Woo's Stranglehold, which is still sealed. Um, see if you could see that, which I don't think you can. Um, but, yeah, it is sealed. Um, and it was priced at $2. Um... I said, what the hell, might as well pick it up, it's sealed, pretty cool, if you want to pick up the game sometime, I just haven't found a copy, um, around me, but, it's pretty cool to get that. Next stuff are from, um, a thrift store near my house, um, so, they were having a half off sale, so everything here was like dirt cheap, so, First game is a PC game. I don't pick up PC games, but this was so cheap, I had to. Um, and that is, well, I put it in the case. It's Silo for the PC, which actually... Uh, whoa, it's me. I, um, came in the sleeve. I don't know why, because I looked up copies on eBay. They come in boxes. I don't know why this came in a sleeve. Like, they, I don't... No. Like, was this inside the box or something? I don't know. And the disc is right here. I 
right there. But I put it in the case just to make it look better on the shelf. Um, like speaking of that, um, my shelves have changed again. I'm not gonna do a room tour though. Um, I'm probably gonna do just like a shot of it at the end of the video. But I'm not gonna do another room tour because I've done like three in the last month and it's just getting ridiculous because I've been changing everything because I've been running out of room so I had to like change the position of everything over and over and over again. But um, yeah, it's Halo um, for for the um, PlayStation. I think this light is too bright. Damn. There. Um, Halo for the PC, so pretty, pretty cool to have. Then, oh yeah, also, um, this game w had a sticker on it and it had 30 cents. So I got this for 15 cents. That's like beyond cheap. <laughs> I mean, 50, 15 cents, might as well. Um, next up, picked up some last gen games, which were 50 cents a piece. They had some other ones, but they were all like mad and stuff like that, and I didn't pick them up. Um, first game for the GameCube is the official game, um, what is it? World Series of Poker. Play the Pros. I picked this up only because it was 50 cents. This complete. Um, I never played a poker game, so I said, what the hell? Might as well. So yeah, picked that up. Um, haven't played it yet. Actually, I haven't played any of these games that I have here yet. But, um, these I've been playing games that I picked up last month. Um, like, um, I played Sharky's Angels, which is pretty god-awful. Played Starsky and Hutch, which is actually a pretty decent game. Uh, played, like, Amazing Island, which is actually really, really enjoyable, like, mini-game, uh, game. Really, like, I've been playing a lot of game games recently. Um, next game is 50 Cent. I can't play it, but... 50 cents. And that is Medal of Honor um, Rising Sun for Xbox. Picked up the PS2 version of Frontline last month. Um, so happy to have Rising Sun. These, um, those are two of my favorite first person shooters of the I am the generation. And it's complete in like brand new shape. I even has a sticker, a sticker thing on it. Um, because like it looks like the guy just picked it up and never played it, like opened up, up the game and never played it, so, yeah, pretty, um, pretty good deal, um, they also had like a whole bunch of NES games there that were, I believe, a dollar, um, didn't really find anything there, um, like there were just like some really crappy games, like there were, um, football games, stuff like that, they also had like Madden 94, which I didn't pick up for Super Nintendo, um, I didn't pick it up because it's sports game. Um, they had some, um, for the PC they had Bust and Move um, 4, which was like $5, like the price tag on it was like $5, so I decided not to pick it up. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. Even though that game does go for around like $15, $20 on eBay, but I mean, I would never play it, so there's really no point. But I did pick up one other game, which is a retro game, which I can't play because I don't own the system. I'm so happy to own it, because when I do pick up this system, this is one of the first games I was going to pick up. And it's for the Super Nintendo, and the game is Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. I picked this up for a dollar. Um, it's in pretty good shape. I mean, there's some, like, a little, like, yellowing over here. Oh, you can't really see it with the light, but it is a little tiny bit yellow. But it's okay. I mean, Legend of Zelda... Link to the Past is what many people call one of the best games of all time. Um, many people call it the best in the series. I personally don't. Um, I like Ocarina of Time. But um, Link to the Past is still a great game. really happy to own this. I mean, it has a sticker right here. I need to get that off. But except for that, it's in perfect condition. Then the last two games, I just got like two hours ago. I mean... I picked these. I went to Toys R Us because, like, I was going to the mall, going to GameStop, and looking if they had any like cheap GameCube or PS2 games. They didn't have anything. Um, I mean, not nothing in the case. So I went to Toys R Us, and it's like right next to it, and I picked up two PS2 titles. Um, they were having a. Um, it was in clearance, and I mean, these two games were on clearance, and they also had a extra like 30% off all clearance games. Which there were there were like some 360 games and um, Wii games that I was going to pick up, but I decided not to because I didn't feel like spending that much money 
Like they had like Noma Heroes two for ten dollars. They had like Dante's Inferno for ten dollars and stuff like that. I was going to pick it up, but I just decided not to at the last second. Um, but I did pick up these PS2 games, which were priced for five dollars. Um, but after thirty percent off, they were like three fifty, which I thought was a great deal, especially for a sealed copy. Um, yeah, the first game is King of Fighters Eleven by SNK Playmore. Um, I'm a fan of the King of Fighters series. I haven't really played as much as other people. I mean, I have King of Fighters 99. I played that. It's pretty good. Um, I'm a fan of the... I played the Neo Geo games at Friends House, and they're pretty fun. So, yeah, for 350, it's, like, still sealed. Um, I want... I'm going to play these games. Like, I'm not going to keep them sealed. I'm going to open them, because I really want to play these games. But, um, yeah, it was 350 sealed. Not a bad deal. And the other game is a game that I'm so excited to own, because this game is actually a game that I've been wanting, like, forever. I mean, like, since it came out, I remember when it came out, and I said, oh my god, it looks so awesome. Um, but never got around to picking it up, because it's like, um, yeah, it's like, kind of, exp I mean, it's not expensive, expensive, but I mean, like, it's over five dollars, which I consider expensive for, like, um, any retro title, like, any non-modern gen game, like, I consider over five dollars a lot. Um, but, yeah, I picked this up for 350 shield, so that was, that was a great deal. I can't wait to play this, because I've been buying it forever. And that is Neo Geo Colise Battle Coliseum. And, correct me if I'm wrong, but did they spell Coliseum wrong? I thought Coliseum was spelled, like, differently. I mean, I might just be, like, really stupid or something, which I am, but, I mean, like, I thought Coliseum was, like, spelled differently. But, um, yeah, uh, here's so many great things about this fighter. I hear that's a great, like, it has, like, a whole bunch of SNK characters from King of Fighters, Metal Slug, um, World Heroes, Samurai Showdown, um, but, yeah, I can't wait to play this. I really want to, um, play this game. So, yeah, that's my pickups for, like, the first, like, for the half of May, um, yeah, I didn't pick up too much, really, but, wait, let's try to get a, yeah, that's all I picked up, not that much, but, um, yeah, um, that's my video, thank you to all my subscribers, um, I'm so happy I have 50, I mean, that's, like, really amazing to me, I mean, I know, like, many people consider it not that much, but, I mean, still, really, really awesome, in my opinion, um, yeah, let's just, I hope I get more, I mean, yeah, yeah, but, th um, thank you, and, yeah, that's my collection update, thanks for watching.